I'm going to go through the process of, or steps of programming the drive. Now I'm going to change it to parameters. So in the parameters, there's some basic things that we want to change. And uh, so uh, we don't, I, I'm not going to go in and change the motor feed. I'm, I'm just going to do some of the basic things that we set up our, our PLC for, for our PLC programming. So I'm going to go down to, uh, take this over to 17.2 which opens up all the functions to us so it allows us uh, access to every parameter so now we're in now we have access to every parameter I'm going to move it over to 3 3 so arrow over to 3 and now I'm going to arrow down to 3.3 .3. so we're into 3.3 .3, which is explaining here which is our remote control frequency control. So uh, that's telling us where we want to get our frequency from and that's going to be from our mod bus. So I'm going down to field bus which is th number three. Next we're going to go to uh, our acceleration rate. So we're going to f four and we want 4.2 which is our acceleration rate. So we now currently have it set up as 3.0. I'm arrowing over to get on the 3. The 3 is now blinking. I'll take that down to 1. Press enter. That's good. I'll go, that was my acceleration rate. Now I'm going to change my deacceleration rate. So it's 4.3. I arrow down to that. And now again I'm arrowing over to my 3. Change it to 1 second. And now I'm ready to go to, uh, this is where I change uh, the uh, relay output. There's a relay output on the bottom of this unit here that tells the drive, or tells the PLC if the drive has been tripped out. So that is on 8.2. So I'm going to take it to 8.2. And now it's currently set at 3, which is, it trips on, on fault, but I want it inverted fault, meaning that I want the contact to close and stay closed as long as the drive is running. Basically, we're say, saying the drive is in ready mode all the time. And uh, so I'll press that, take it up to four, press enter, and you heard a click there. There was, that's a contact closing. So now if the, pow if the drive's fuses tripped out or somebody opened up the fuses, uh, the drive would trip out and the PLC would know it. If the drive was running and uh, there was a fault on the drive for some reason, uh, which is extremely rare, uh, that they, then it would send a signal to the drive and uh, on, the, on the touch screen it would tell you which drive was tripped out and you go find out what's wrong with it. So next, we have to go into the systems, systems of the uh, system uh, parameters. So now I'm going to go down into the S side, which is our systems. Arrow over to the uh, uh, two, V 2.1, arrow down to parameter 2.2, which is uh, our Modbus. I'm going to say arrow up to 1 saying yes, I want to use Modbus. And then I arrow down to 2.3 press enter and now this is the address of the Modbus so it goes up to 256 different uh, drives you can put on um, one Modbus uh, application so typically we only have eight at the most so uh, right currently right now it defaults as one I'll take it up to let's say five and press enter now our drive is ready to run but again I have to mention this again, we do not want anybody programming any of these drives unless 
you have direct contact with diversified metal engineering so that we can uh, walk you through it and talk about the parameters that we need you to change rather than uh, changing a bunch of parameters on your own. Unless you're a trained uh, personnel using frequency drives on a regular basis uh, or programming them on a regular basis, uh, we don't recommend anybody changing these without uh, uh, special training. Thank you very much for uh, listening to this training session, and uh, we hope you have good luck with your drives.